Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up 3D video in Unity. If you prefer to read it, I've got a full blog post here that kind of details all of the steps, step by step with a bunch of screenshots, but for anybody that prefers video, I'm going to go over all of the steps right now. So the first thing you really need is a video that you can play. You can grab these off of YouTube or you might have your own. Um, I'm going to use this one right here just a nice little 3D video of some flowers. If you don't know how to download a video from YouTube, I found this uh, 4K video downloader, it's free, it doesn't appear to install anything else, you just uh, copy the link from YouTube, let's see, bam. copy it right there, and then hit paste the link, and it will download for you. So, I've already done this though, I already have the file, so I'm just gonna drop it right in. See, I've got that open right here. So I'll take my video, drop it into the project. You can see it right here. It is imported already. So there's a little preview window. Can't really see anything in here yet though. Um, the next thing I need to do is grab the new shader that was just released by Unity Technologies. And that is available up on their GitHub page. You can clone the repository or download it. I'll just download it this time. So download the zip file and let's move that out of the way. The zip file actually contains two things that we need. It's got, let's see, let's pull that over. It's got a shader file and a C sharp script. So I'm just gonna copy both of those into the project. Great. Uh, the next thing we'll need is a render texture. Render texture is just a texture that gets rendered onto or can be rendered onto by a camera or in this case by our video player. So here we'll just name it, um, well, let's just name it 3D video render texture. Uh, one thing we want to do is change the size. If you leave it at 256 by 256, it's going to look super low quality. So I'm just going to crank this up to 4096 by 4096. Uh, 2048 by 2048 would probably be fine too, but there's really no harm in going higher. We'll also need to change the depth buffer setting to no depth buffer. Cool. Now render texture set up. We need to create a material. So just go to create and material. We'll call this um, 3D skybox. Sky box. There you go. We're going to be attaching this to our sky box in just a minute. So we want to change the shader from the standard shader over to this new shader that we just downloaded. That is the panoramic beta. And here you can see we have a spot for our render texture. So I'm going to take the render texture, drop it right in. And we want to change the image type here to 180 degrees. The video that I downloaded and share in the link is 180 degrees, so that's what we need. And we'll change the 3D layout to side by side. If you don't know the difference between side by side and over under, let me show you real quick. I'm just going to open up here. Let's open this video with VLC player. You can't really see it in. YouTube, but if you look in VLC, you can see the video is side by side. There's the left eye and the right eye. The other option is over under, where you'd have the left eye up above, and uh, I think it's the right eye on the bottom. This is just a little video of some flowers. It's not the most amazing video, but it works for this. All right, so we've got a skybox set up. We've got the render texture set up. Now we need a video player. So we could create a game object in here add a video player and assign the video or we can just drag the video right up and it'll be automatically set up for us. So you see we've got our video clip assigned it's just set to play on awake uh, it's at a playback speed of one which means it's going to run at normal speed but we need to change the render mode so instead of rendering to the camera far plane we want to render to a render texture and here's our render texture that we created so we'll just drop it right in um, the last thing we need to do is assign our material to the skybox. To do that, we open up the lighting menu under window, lighting, and settings. And then we'll just drop the 3D skybox in. And we are almost done. There's one other thing I skipped past at the beginning. Let me jump over to that. We need to go to edit, project settings, and player. 
And here we just need to make sure that the virtual reality supported checkbox is checked. Without that, it won't work. We won't be able to look around in 3D. So now that we've got all that, we'll just hit play. Uh, I'll drag the game view over so you can see it. This video is over there on the other side of me. So pop on the headset and I can look around and now that flower is popping out in 3D. Let's see, is there another video? Oh, there we go. Some more flowers in 3D. Not the most exciting thing to look at, but I'm sure you can find a more interesting video. It's still kind of cool. Anyway, that's all you need to get started. Have fun. Check out the links below.